Hi, this is Heather Lind, narrator of the audiobook Rebel Heart by Moira Young. Rebel Heart is the sequel to the first book that I read called Blood Red Road by Moira Young. It focuses on the lead character, Saba, who's kind of a young woman rebel, which I guess suggests the name Rebel Heart, which is her journey out of captivity, um, out of the first book really explored her search for her brother. And when she found him, she met all sorts of people which now follow her into this next journey in her life. The book explores her journey further on from the end of the last book in her search for love and understanding her identity and understanding her relationships with her friends and her family. I would say there's one scene that I just read that was incredibly evocative in the audiobook of what beauty there is in the world that we live in. It takes place for Saba, but she basically gets to see the beauty that's all around us in a a sort of cinematic way. And it was really fun to read that and to imagine what she must have been thinking and how we can look at the world differently. I didn't do much differently. I did read the entire book to myself before I read it out loud. And I just tried to remind myself of the characters that I met in the first book and wanted to kind of remember their essences and not just their voices, but their energies and and what they want in the world. And that helped me follow them into this second audiobook where they're all a little bit older and they've experienced a little bit more. And just to try to keep the journey that I started with them going. Saba's a heartbreaker, kind of against her will. Um, <laughs> I think she's surprised by it, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, I was surprised. I think Moira's done such a great job in these audiobooks and books in describing love in a lot of complicated ways. And so I think in Rebel Heart, she really continues to explore relationships and love with the same complexity that she started with, and I think the same complexity that we experience in our own lives. So yeah, I think Saba's sort of awesome. So I wasn't surprised that people found her to be awesome. But yeah, I think the heart is a mysterious thing. And I think Saba's particularly is mysterious and is mysterious to her. And so it's really interesting and exciting to follow her through that discovery and to meet the people who are charmed by her as well. I think Saba has changed since we first met her at the start of the first audiobook. She was never really innocent to me. She had a a naivete. She hadn't experienced as much or done as much or felt as much, I think, in the beginning of the first audiobook. And now that we've seen the things she's gone through, which have been really challenging and some quite horrific, I think that she has aged. I think she's grown up a little bit. I think she has different expectations from the people in her life. I think she also has a great deal of hope because she's endured a lot of these amazing things and she's come out of them stronger because of it. So I think her persistence and her stubbornness and her goodness is still there, but she has a few more notches on her belt. She's looking at things in in an older way. The recording process is really fun. It's a lot of time, and a lot of time sort of alone in a little booth, Um, but I have people through the glass that are helping me and cheering me on, and that helps. It's really wonderful to get the chance to read a book this way, and the characters become really personal to me and important. You know, I'd say Saba, really, because that seems obvious. Um, She's the narrator of the book, and I obviously have, I'm really on her side, but I think in this particular book... I really like narrating for Emmy. I think her learning process is really interesting to me in this second audiobook. I think she's admiring her sister and trying to mirror her in lots of ways, but she's also trying to separate herself and to make her own identity and be her own person, and I really like to follow her through that. I got my start narrating audiobooks sort of mysteriously. I was doing a play on stage of The Merchant of Venice, And I believe somebody from 
Simon & Schuster heard my voice and maybe thought that I would be good for this particular book. And I started, I read the first book, and then I started um, coming in and doing short stories and books with a lot of people involved. I recorded one in L.A. for them, and I've just been doing it a, a lot more. It's a kind of unexpected surprise in my life. I think it's a really exciting medium, especially for actors like me, because there are so many mediums for actors. I've been lucky enough to work on stage and on film and on television, and this just feels kind of like a whole other medium. It seems like it could just kind of be reading for clarity and sense and drama, but it really feels like acting. Um, I think it's honed my skills of being able to transform my voice and get to know characters who do and say interesting things that I wouldn't say or do, and just in that way it's been great practice. It feels kind of like a meditation or a study, which feels different to me than acting with lots of people collaborating with me. But I like it. I, I hope to do more. 